What the? What? Oh, come on! Now, hey guys, it's Neon from Limustek, and today we are making a new USB rubber ducky prank of the never-ending Windows update that also crashes. So before I begin the script, I want to tell one thing. The previous script with the rubber ducky that I did was with a mouse cursor. Now I had some luck with it at work and one of my colleagues forgot to lock his computer when he was out. So I quickly actually inserted the rubber ducky to his computer and in no time the script ran and everything was great. I mean, uh, it took a while obviously until he got back and took at least two times till he understood what's going on. Actually, he didn't actually understand what's going on. He decided to reboot his computer since he didn't reboot it for a long time. And while he was rebooting, he asked us if we ever stumbled across something that the mouse cursor suddenly moves around, etc. Uh, it was kind of funny, but the thing is, it ran with PowerShell and PowerShell manipulated the screen and the keys and everything. And when it happened, our security person heard all of that and decided to look at the logs because it was weird that something was inside and still uh, was able to work uh, because it's supposed to be blocked but you know it's kind of impossible to block the rubber ducky since it's just a keyboard after all. Eventually he did see some partial activity, he didn't really like it and basically he asked me in short not to do it again. Now <laughs> I don't see the point because a few of my scripts that I do at work, for work reasons, actually use pretty much the same methods except they usually don't manipulate the mouse but the keyboard. But the methods are pretty much the same. Anyway, I decided I'll do something much more simpler that we were doing before the rubber ducky. I mean, a simple prank when someone forgets to lock his computer. Basically, it's a website that is called Fake Update. Now, if you go, you know what, let me show you. So we'll go to Fake Update. Uh, .net basically, but you can search it over the internet. Here you go. Basically what this site does is shows you a prank window of a never-ending Windows update. So you have an update for Windows 98, XP, uh, Vista, why do they have Vista? Windows 8, Windows 7, uh, Macintosh actually, or 6, uh, they have, oh, SteamOS, uh, Windows 10 update, Windows 10 install, if you're really into that, and, well, that's something new, a ransomware screen. Now, obviously, we are going to choose that, Windows 10 update. Basically, if you go full screen, so it looks like it's a legit update, it will never end. It will actually go with a percentage up slowly. As you can see now, it's on 1%, and it will go pretty much forever. But you cannot do anything here special except pressing Enter. If you actually press Enter, this will happen. You'll actually receive a blue screen. Well, sort of blue. It isn't kind of blue, I would say. But this is what will happen. So let's go a little bit back and copy the Windows 10 update link and close that. Now, uh, you know what? Let's put it aside before we forget and write our rubber ducky script. So uh, as you can see, I'm usually using Notepad++, but here I decided to go very simple and just use the duck toolkit slash encoder. It's an online encoder. You know what? Uh, obviously you can find it online, but I'll include the link to the site directly to the encoder on the description of this video. Anyway, let's begin with the usual delay 1000. So the rubber ducky has time to initiate. Then we go to GUI R, which will open the RAN command like this. Then basically what we're going to do is write a string and then our browser of choice. You could use Internet Explorer but I'm going to use Chrome because it's pretty much obviously installed on most of the computers. So just go ahead and go ahead and write Chrome EXE. Then um, space and the link that we want to open. And obviously we need to hit enter after all that. Now, we should include another delay. Let's go ahead and just include a delay of 1000, which is one second again. Uh, I believe it will be enough to load the website 
and Chrome, at least for a normal computer nowadays. And then we just hit F11, which will bring us to full screen. And that's pretty much it. This is the whole script. I mean, it's very simple. Nothing special, nothing hard. Very simple script. You can write it without copying it in no time, seriously. You could actually launch... You know what? You could do actually very cool stuff with it. Let's say you have a class and you want to open a full screen uh, website, but the same website to all those computers. So you don't have management, for example, in classes on all the computers, but you do want all the kids to see the same website. That's a great idea to write something like this and just put the rubber duck in every computer and that's it. You have the same website in full screen on all the computers in almost no time. Instead of, you know, opening Chrome manually and doing it basically manually the same, it will save some time. Not too much, but it will save. Anyway, we are going to hit United States here, since that's how Rubber Ducky usually is formatted. It's not Great Britain for some reason, I don't know, for me at least, it's the United States. Maybe I did something in the past and I forgot, I don't know. Let's go ahead and insert our SD card of a USB. Okay, here it is on I. So basically we generate script, in no time it will actually generate, and inject.bin, we save it here on the rubber ducky, press save, yes, that's it. So now only thing is left is to check our script. So we unplug our SD card from the USB, as usual, you know, insert the SD card into our rubber ducky carefully. So now we insert our rubber ducky into the USB. Watch what happens. Boom, and full screen. That's it. Our prank is done. Guys, before I finish this video, I have a few things to mention. First, YouTube has demonetized our channel for now. And the reason for that is that we don't have enough subscribers. So in order to get monetized on YouTube and receive money, etc., which I did for a while, you do need from now on to have at least 1000 subscribers and 4000 hours of watch time for the last 12 months, which we do have. So we do lack of about 140 subscribers or so. So if you're not subscribed yet, or if you know anyone that is interested in tech, security and everything what I do here on this channel, please let them know and ask them to subscribe as well. So they will be able to follow us and also help us to grow as well. Another thing before I go is Instagram. If you want, you can follow me now on Instagram. Yes, I did fall to that as well. Basically, I don't use it for the channel specifically. I just take some photos and share them there, uh, including Facebook and other platforms. Uh, so I do tend to share some cool pictures around, uh, just views, landscape. Uh, if I travel, I try to post more as well. Nothing specific to the channel or any tech related stuff. But I'll try also to post some notifications about new videos on the channel on Instagram. So keep in mind that you can follow me uh, on Instagram as well if you'd like. And now we can finally finish this video. Thank you for watching this Demostech episode. If you enjoyed this video, click the subscribe button and hit the bell so you won't miss any future video. And I'll see you on the next one.